Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Alistair Hawk here, bringing you some awesome inf information for my fellow PS3 players that are waiting to get the Black Ops 2 Revolution DLC. Today I'll be talking to you guys about the brand new gun DLC, the Peacekeeper, because there are a lot of confusion about the weapon, mostly it is about the diamond camera. Um, I'm sorry I don't have gameplay for the gun to show you, but I do have some awesome, uh, some awesome information to share with you guys, so let's get straight to it. Yesterday, I slept over at my mate's place because we're waiting for the Black Ops 2 DLC to pop up so we can download it. Um, if you guys are wondering, I do not have an Xbox, so I got that's why I got invited to come over to my mate's place and play some games. And to tell you the truth, it is awesome. Um, somehow, everything just works on these maps, or it works for me anyways. And I can't wait for it to get released on PS3 so I can play it with you guys. And I'm trying not to spoil anything for you guys, so let's get straight to the Peacekeeper. Um, to me, the gun feels a lot similar to the M27 in Black Ops 2. The recoil is about the same. The only thing that is different is, of course, the look of the gun, and it makes you move a little bit faster. Um, the damage of the Peacekeeper at medium to long range is 33, which is basically a 3-shot kill to the body or head. And at long range, it is reduced to 18, which is a 5-6-shot to six shot kill, I believe. Now let's take a look at the damage for all the SMGs for short to long distance. As you can see on screen, um, every gun has a... 18 damage long range but some seem overpowered because of that recoil difference the peacekeeper would have to be the most overpowered smg for the fact that it has barely no recoil like the m27 or go back in the past at the mp7 from Modern Warfare 3 um, so you will have barely um, no problems handling this gun I had a uh, fast mag and science on the Peacekeeper and it was still a beast. Um, as you can see on the screen, the PDW and the MSMC have a higher chance of, in a gun battle because it has a lower recoil and because it has a little bit more damage. If it was up to you, do you want to go to a battlefield with no recoil or one extra bullet? Um, I would have to go no recoil, so let me know in the comments um, what you would go for. Everybody has been questioning about the diamond camera for the SMGs. Is that, um, will we still have the diamond camera if we got it before? Or do we have to get the Peacekeeper Gold to get the diamond camera back? Um, if you have purchased the, if you, I mean, if you haven't purchased the Season Pass for the Black Ops 2, um, you will have your diamond camera because you don't have the Peacekeeper DLC. Um, if you bought the Season Pass, the people that do have the S, um, Peacekeeper SMG, um, you'll lose your diamond camera. So, you have to get the gun gold to get back your diamond camera if you didn't have it already. Okay guys, so that's the end of this commentary. Um, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below and I'll answer you back ASAP. So thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. It's the Hawkey Special signing off. Peace.